I'm Kevin, otherwise known as Form BX257, here to bring you another old G.I. Joe toy review. And today I'll be taking a look at the G.I. Joe Dog Handler, the 1984 Mutt and his Dog Junkyard. Now, dog handler is kind of a strange term. I'm sure I'm sure that might have been a little a little closer to what we would now call a military policeman and canine unit. Because I'm pretty sure that's what he actually is. His file card does suggest that he has uh, infantry experience, but I tend to think that he is uh, more of a military policeman and enforcement officer in charge of security. Mutt comes with a lot of really small accessories. Unfortunately, they're very easy to lose. He comes with an, what's called on the contents list, an Ingram Mac 11 with silencer. It's very unusual that they're uh, very specific in calling it that. Next is his nightstick, which is not too big, not too small. Fits in his hand very well without uh, straining, the, straining the thumb. And of course has a loop for storage. Of course this is pretty much the most telling part of his being a more of, more of a military policeman rather than an infantry trooper or whatever. He comes with a removable helmet. And a face mask, which has a loop and buckle. Just like all of all the other figures with 1984, I don't find it really necessary to uh, take that on and off. Just put, put it over his head like a ring. There is some speculation as to what this is for. Unfortunately, I don't really have much of an opinion. It's not really an oxygen mask. It's just called a face mask on the uh, contents list. He also, he also comes with a rubber leash, which fits around Junkyard. Junkyard, I'm going to assume, is, is some type of a Doberman. So there, there isn't a lot of paint apps, obviously. There, there usually aren't on these uh, early animal figures. He does have the big brown uh, paint app on his belly, which is well, obviously very hard to see. And only the 84 and 85 versions of the um, button, button junkyard, uh, junkyard dog had the paint app. Later versions left the paint app out, so he's all black. Two very interesting things about uh, this figure. One is his big padded glove, which is, again, more, more or less a dog handler's glove. So that uh, Junkyard can, I guess, bite on it or something like that for training purposes. Another really weird thing is, it may be a little hard to see, but he has these two tiny little scars on his left cheek. Uh, it, it's, it's never quite explained exactly why he has those scars and it's, it's the type of thing which is never shown in the cartoons or the comic books. And now to compare Mutt and Junkyard with Law and Order, his 1987 successor. As you can see there's a lot of the same thing. He has a, a truncheon, which is a, another version of a nightstick. He has a an Uzi which is basically the same thing as a Mac, you know, a, a compact a fully automatic machine pistol. A helmet, a leash, and his, of course, his canine unit, in this case, order. I do have to admit, though, I don't particularly like the way the um, the leash connects to the dog. It's sort of sideways, whereas Mutton Junkyards is all kind of frontwards, which kind of makes a little bit more sense. They actually make a nice pair, though.
Well, that's all the time I have right now. Please check out my Facebook page for more information and behind the scenes photos for these reviews. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for next time to see another 1980s G.I. Joe tour review. See you then.